All right, nearly 100 Starbucks workers, uh, stores rather, are going on strike for the next three days over stalled labor talks, including several in our area. So they call this the double down strike. We've seen Starbucks strikes pop up over the last year. This may be the final one of 2022 in Fox 13's China Green at the Starbucks on Madison and 5th downtown. One of the stores protesting today. And China, there is a reason why you're at that particular store. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. So Starbucks Workers United says this is considered the home store of Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz. He frequents this one often and that quote, if Howard's own neighborhood store baristas are threatened, or, excuse me, treated this poorly, that only speaks to the injustices Starbucks partners are experiencing nationwide. So today they say that they're doubling down. They're doubling down on their demands for fair treatment and protesting Starbucks closures of union stores. Now the Broadway and Denny location location closed a week ago today. That's one that they're referring to. Notably, the shop was first to unionize in Seattle and Starbucks Workers United claims this decision was made in retaliation. But Starbucks alleging the closure was due to a rising crime, drug use and harassment. Employees say they have been denied the opportunity to bargain or sign a contract. Their hours are being cut significantly during one of their busiest seasons and consistently being short staff makes working at Starbucks nearly unbearable, both physically and mentally, according to them. The supervisor at this store where I'm at right now says, quote, we demand that Starbucks and Howard Schultz put an end to union busting immediately, show up to the bargaining table in good faith, and protect the lives of the employees they claim to care so much about. And I just talked to a customer who comes to this Starbucks every morning, and here's what he had to say when he found the doors locked and his daily routine interrupted. I think Howard Schultz has done a heck of a job developing this Starbucks brand, but also helping the uh, people that worked for him as far as education, as far as medical and everything. So I don't see pretty much what their gripe is, but I can see his gripe. He doesn't want to lose control of the company. The stores participating in the strike start at different times this weekend. The one happening here will start at 8. We'll talk to workers when they start to arrive. And we have reached out to Starbucks for a comment on what some of their employees are doing this weekend. We haven't heard back yet, but of course, we'll keep you posted as we get a statement or learn more from them. But for now, we are live in Seattle, China Green, Fox 13 News.